थैंक यू अरुण आई डू हैव फाइनेंशियल इंटरेस्ट बिकॉज आई डोंट वेस्ट टू बाय आई स्टिल डोंट वेस्ट टू बाय एफेको मशीन cataract surgery was once considered a simple rehabilitative procedure but over the years it has been transformed into an increasingly precise refractive surgery the goal is no longer just being able to make the patient mobile and self sufficient and looking after himself but to achieve emetropia manual sics has few complications requires little extra investment and provides all the advantages of small incision iol implants and anastigmatism well i am less into teaching sics i am more into marketing sics temporal manual sics is an important approach to cataract surgery as shifting of the tunnel around the cornea has given the manual sics surgeon a much better control over the post operative refraction the indications for temporal manual sics either there is a case with no astigmatism or with against the rule astigmatism a superior limbal pathology a superiorly placed trabeculectomy bleb a deep set eye due to lack of orbital fat or a prominent brow a large hair knot on the head as supported by the holy people in india when or when with the best of effort the palpebral ap- aperture cannot be opened more than limbus to limbus for any particular reason our surgical te- technique consists of i sit on the side of the eye to be operated that i that is i position myself to the temporal side a wrist rest is a great help a balanced weight is used to make the eyeball hypotensive i make a stab side port 5 degrees to the right of the intended scleral tunnel a large capsule rexus 5 to 6 mm with 26 gauge needle cystitome through the side port is possible lateral canthus based conjunctival flap sparingly applied heat cautery the incision and temporal manual sics may be sclerocorneal or limbocorneal i never go corneal and may be straight straight with radial cuts at the ends frown or v shaped placing the incision in the incisional funnel in the planned meridian induces more predictable stable and low astigmatism this is a short video courtesy arvind eye hospitals it's a frown incision being made on the lateral side here you can see a uh, bridal suture inserted in the lateral rectus which is usually not required so the tunnel is the same as with all superior or su- superior temporal surgeries the only difference is you just shift over to the temporal temporal side the tunnel is made with the crescent bevel up and ac entered with the keratome the same keratome is used to enlarge the incision hydrodissection hydrodelineation is performed the nucleus is rotated in the bag presenting pole of the nucleus is prolapsed into, into the ac and viscoelastic is injected around the nucleus the nucleus is delivered with a fish hook made of 26 gauge needle and irrigating rectus alone by the sandwich technique or by the visco expression technique here i'll show you another small clip in which the epinucleus is being visco uh, visco expressed so the visco elastic is injected in between the capsule and the epinucleus and once the pressure is built up inside just pressing upon the posterior lip of the tunnel pushes out everything by itself and some more of the visco elastic helps
The residual cortex is aspirated and the PC polished with the reverse Semco cannula itself. I usually implant a 6 mm IOL in the bag. It may be the foldable or the rigid one. The IOL can be dialed and centered if necessary. The conjunctival flap is reposed and the eye is dressed. Our results, all our cases exhibit an astigmatic error of less than 0.75 diopters. All amongst our cases exhibit a Vidhi rule shift in astigmatism. The changes in astigmatism is, usually ranges from no shift to 0.5 to 2.5 diopters. In 84% cases of our cases, the shift in the, is in the range of 0.5 to 1.5 diopters. Interestingly, all cases exhibiting a Vidhi rule shift of more than 1 diopters were those who had a pre-op ATR astigmatism of more than 1 diopters. I am not able to explain why this was happening. Some complications in temporal manual SICS, ballooning of the conjunctiva, subconjunctival hemorrhage. Many of my friends don't consider this a complication but somehow I do. Hemorrhage in the tunnel is also another complication. Button holing of the roof of the tunnel and we've had zonular dialysis and PCRs in our cases. These are two photographs of a case of PCR and I just go through some of my post-op complications, endothelial folds, strat keratitis, 1 plus to 2 plus, exudates in the AC, a leaking section with blood formation or an iris prolapse through a short tunnel. So this was a difficult situation. I had to go temporally, but even when going temporally, when I inserted the speculum, I couldn't approach the eyeball normally, so we went in for a lateral canthotomy and we were able to do the job much more easily. The external scratch incision may be placed right on the limbus instead of going through the sclera. This helps avail all the advantages of a limbal incision. By opting for the temporal approach, we are able to bypass the eyebrow in a deep set eye. It makes the surgery easier. The bridal rectus suture is not necessary, thus obviating unnecessary trauma to the eye tissues. Irrigating fluid flows down through the lateral canthus. It does not collect in the medial canthal region and superior fornix. So no chances of backflow of the fluids. In oblique astigmatism, the temporal approach is slightly modified. The tunnel is moved superiorly or inferiorly, placing a tangential to the steep meridian. The superior temporal approach is also used in cases having the food smells good, I suppose. Should we wind it up a bit more quickly? Superior temporal approach is also used in cases having no astigmatism. The final results are arguably extremely good and residual astigmatism minimal, making it a precise refractive surgery. And as we seek your questions, I would just go through, uh, through a few slides which are, the, I suppose, the carry home message. Why is manual SICS the most desirable of modern cataract techniques? India, a land of vast disparities, presents at any given moment a linear panorama from the ancient couching medieval ICCE and ECCE to the modern FACO. It fits in at all levels, a surgery for primary to the most advanced level of patient care. It's easy, no additional cost option and has arguably the same objective as FACO emulsification, not a single absolute contraindication other than in my hands, I don't operate subluxated cataracts. The charm of SICS is its simplicity. FECO machine and the paraphernalia that goes with its instrumentation, sterilization, repair and replacement are a costly luxury for small clinics. FECO surgery has a hazardous and steep learning curve and is arguably a time-consuming procedure. 
seco machine out of order so somebody will have to get me lunch inside the hall because people might be ba might bash me up outside for this the ordeal begins the moment the seco machine is out of order the sales and the marketing teams are efficient slick and polished but i'm sorry to say the after sales service department is usually callous indifferent and unreasonable the less said the better manual sics is a mu must for a feco surgeon as well for times when he has to convert feco machine failure posterior capsular rupture hard black or brown cataract or having used too much feco energy manual sics provides all the advantages of a sutureless small incision a revolutionary technique ideal for teaching institutes and government tertiary centers or wherever finance is a constraint manual sics is a single step nucleus delivery with fewer complications and little extra investment it ha it is hazard free smoother and easier learning curve rather no learning curve for one already into ecce and implant surgery thank you and have a nice day and uh, any questions please